guys hope you are doing fine and today i am back with another tutorial for you and this is regarding how to delete a data stage project or in case there is a project which is corrupted then how to delete it in my earlier tutorial i explained that how to delete a corrupted job so this will be a kind of similar but not exactly similar there are some differences which we need to follow now when a data stage admin has to perform this task of a project deletion there can be two ways or uh, two uh, basically scenarios where we need to delete it one where there is a there is not any need of that project anymore that means all the jobs in that project either get decommissioned or not at all required as of now that application is now uh, you know decommissioned so in that case as a data stage administrator that project should be deleted to free the space which that project is using in your metadata repository as well as on your server second now the project is corrupted and it is not opening in that case we need to delete that project and create a new project with the same name and to import the jobs or the code which was there from your version controlling tool if you want to know about version controlling tool you can see my earlier videos where I explained about it in the data stage and unix for deployment so first of all we will see that how to delete a project and secondly we will see that how to delete a corrupted project so deleting a project is very simple what you need to do is you need to have access on dsadm id obviously a data stage administrator will have access to this id dsadm you will log into data stage administration console this is my data stage administration console and this is my project gen score 1234 which i need to delete okay so i'll click on this gen score 1234 you will see that path name will show up here at which location it is present and this is a project name once it shows up you just need to click on delete that's all it will take some time depending upon your uh, you know depending upon size of project and guys it will make sure that it is deleted from your server as well as from your metadata repository so it will be uh, removed from your both places after this is deleted this project will remove from here z_1234 and what verification you can do you can verify by logging into data stage designer and see in the drop down of the project if that project is appearing or not if that is not appearing that means it is deleted so this was a very simple step which you need to delete uh, which you need to follow to delete a project only this is what i have mentioned here log into data stage administration console choose the project like jira score 1 to 3 for which chose then click on delete and wait the project is to deleted once it is successful we can go to server and check if the project is deleted from there in case you have the server on your windows or unix location you can go to that location which i showed you and uh, you can check it out if that exists anymore or not it will not once it is deleted also the fifth step is verifying logging into your designer that the project should not be visible now here comes the main thing like if a project is corrupted how you will delete it if if you will say that corrupted corrupted means you are not able to open the project you are not able to fix the errors you are not able to do anything only option left is to remove the project if you say i'll remove the directory project directory from my server that is not going to work reason being it will always be present on your metadata repository also if you will remove the directory it will not remove the project from your voc file and schema file so here you go so how to delete a corrupted project step 1 we need to remove it from local repository that is from your server these are the standard steps which i need to follow to go to data stage command language format i'll go to ds home directory i'll uh, you know source my ds environment file and then i'll fire this command to go to dcl language format where i can run these commands this is list uv.account 
this is my project name so uv account needs to be deleted and verify the schema that it is present in the schema or not and then moving to next step which is removing from metadata repository with help of the stage wrapper 801.sh utility so if you have seen my earlier tutorial how to remove corrupted job you will be aware that where this is present and how it works so guys let's start i haven't removed it from data stage admin console i'll show you how to delete a corrupted project via my server so this is my server i'll show you what is my present working directory it is my project directory and this is my project z underscore one two three four which i want to remove from my server as well as metadata repository assuming this is corrupted that means when i am logging through data set designer or director i am not able to log into the project some uh, critical errors are coming in not getting fixed by uh, sync project or any, any other utility just option left is to delete so here you go what i'll do is i'll go to my ds home directory that is my ds engine directory present working directory is etl d stage information server server ds engine then i'll go to i'll source my ds env file it is sourced now then i'll go to my uvsh command format enter you can see now i am in data stage command language format which will run on server now this is list uv dot account seven is for one two three four okay so i need to write it in caps the project name so you can see one record is listed here i need to delete it now right i delete uv dot account the project name you can see one record delete it is now going to check if that uh, project is present in the schema or not if present then fix so verify dot sql schema project name and then fix so checking permission building table list done verifying table this checking file permission no sql catalog data for schema this okay so press any key to continue continue okay so whatever uh, the SQL, uh, data was present in sql schema now has been fixed now i am able to quit it i'll come out so guys it has removed everything from my server now i'll go to to remove it from my metadata repository but what i need to make sure is once this is done i re i'll remove my project from my server so where i am right now present working directory is ds engine i'll go to projects i'll see tail minus 1 my project is still present i'll do rm minus rf then remove it so what i did basically i removed this project from my server as well as from my uv account as well as from schema account so it is now removed from server now second step is to remove it from metadata repository so i'll go to the second step i'll go to my ds home ds underscore tools directory where this ds stage wrapper script is present to remove it from my metadata repository so i am right now in ds underscore tools directory where my ds stage wrapper script is present 
So guys, I'll check it out that what is my, if this project is present there or not in my DS project uh, file, right? I'll fire this command D stage wrapper minus query hyphen query select x dot name comma x dot host name from x in DS project where x dot name equal to z underscore one two three four. I'm already aware about my host name, so do not need it. I'll directly check if this is present or not in my metadata repository. If it is present, it will show you. This is my project name. If this shows up with a value, that means it is present. So you can see one row return and this project is showed up. What I need to do is I need to delete this project now. So guys, this, this is for my version 8.0.1. In case you are in version 8.5 and above, in that case, you need to provide user DSADM password then password hyphen domain domain name and then query and then same query only then it will work otherwise not if you are 8.5 and above now to delete the project what i'll do is this dc wrapper utility delete project domain name and the project name so i'll fire this command this stage wrapper minus delete project so as you can see what mistake I done earlier is, I gave my host name in small. Host name should come in caps here. So I again in the command, this is operate 01, delete project, host name and then my project name. I put the host name in caps and then uh, it, this command got successful. Later on, I fired this command again to check if my project is residing in metadata repository or not. And you can see zero rows return. Earlier it returned one row. Correct. So that was all about uh, deleting a corrupted project and a non corrupted project from our server and metadata repository. So guys, if you like this video, uh, click on thumbs up, like this video, comment. If you have any question, share this video ahead so that you know people can get benefit out of it. And do not forget to subscribe so that you can get the notification when I upload a new tutorial. Thank you.